Okay, this question begins by saying, in the goods market model, a decrease in taxes will result in, and then it gives you a number of statements. Now, before you even look at the statements, answer that first part, which says, in the goods market model, which is this one, where we say the demand for goods determines the level of income and output in the economy. And you say, what happens here if there's a decrease in taxes? Now, a decrease in taxes increases autonomous spending and the demand for goods curve shifts upwards and we have a higher level of income in the economy. In terms of your autonomous spending components, it means the tax part is now lower. Therefore, your autonomous spending is higher. Then you look at your statements and the first one says it will lead to an increase in autonomous consumption. Now, Clearly, that is not the case because it decreased the tax component of autonomous spending and not the autonomous part of your consumption spending. So, statement A will be incorrect. Then it says it will lead to an increase in disposable income. Well, disposable income is income minus taxes. Since the taxes are lower, then your disposable income will be higher. So, we can say statement B is correct. Then it goes on to say it leads to an increase in income, <clears throat> which if you go to your goods market model, you can say, you can see that is indeed the case. There was an increase in the level of income and output in the economy. The last statement D says it leads to a decrease in induced consumption. Now, this is your induced consumption in your model. Now, what happened here was there was an increase in disposable income, so you actually have an increase in the induced part of consumption spending. So statement D will then be regarded as incorrect.